राइट ए नोट ऑन आक्टोजियन रेम सो कुछ याद है वॉट इज आक्टोजियन रेम हु गेव द स्कीम स्मिथ यस दिस स्कीम सो इफ यू लुक एट द एनिमल किंगडम्स वन ऑफ द ओल्डेस्ट वन वॉज गिवेन बाय स्क्लेटर द सेकेंड वन वॉज गिवेन बाय ए आर वॉलेस स्क्लेटर वॉज मोस्टली ऑन बर्ड्स एंड वॉलेस वॉज मोस्टली ऑन मैमल्स वॉलेस स्कीम इज मोर डिटेल इट टॉक्स अबाउट सिक्स रीजन्स एंड ऑल्सो द ट्रांजिशन एरियाज स्मिट स्कीम इज अ मॉडिफाइड वर्जन इट्स मॉडिफाइड एंड इट इज a uh, simplified scheme it talks about a uh, three regions three regions mein we have neotropical like okay, also called as the neogene we have the arctogean and we have notogean so one टू एंड थ्री सो जो स्मिथ का स्कीम है कार्ल स्मिथ स्कीम दिस स्कीम वॉज गिवेन इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी फोर ही सिंप्लीफाइड द स्कीम ऑफ वॉलस इन टू थ्री थ्री रीजन और जो आक्टोजियन है आक्टोजियन इज इक्वल टू वॉट होलो आर्टिक एंड पैलियोट्रॉपिकल and holo arctic itself is ne arctic pale arctic pale tropical is ethiopian oriental and also madagascar theek okay? hai so if you look at the diagram okay three parts the world divided into three broad regions ye pura arctogean hai this is neogean also called as neotropical and this is notogean or australian uh, madagascar uh, in arctogean ko alag rakha hai to keep it separate malagasy it is separate of course you will remove sahara sahara is not of much consequence the rest of africa and malagasy और मदागास्कर होलो आर्टिक एंड पैलियोट्रॉपिकल आर टेकन टूगेदर ठीक है नाउ माय डिस्कशन पॉइंट इज व्हाई वेर दे टेकन टूगेदर ओके बिकॉज इफ लुक एट द क्लाइमेट दिस रीजन हैज ब्रॉडली थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ क्लाइमेट देर इज अ पोलार आर्टिक तुंद्रा टाइप ऑफ क्लाइमेट देर इज अ कूल टेम्परेट क्लाइमेट एंड दर इज ऑल्सो अ ट्रॉपिकल वॉर्म क्लाइमेट ठीक है सो वी कंटिन्यू हेयर Arctogean is a very large a grouping of world regions. It includes Holo Arctic and Paleo Tropical. And please list down whatever you can. You can always draw the map here and show what it is. The scheme was given by by Schmidt in 1954. it's a modified uh, scheme that simplifies the world animal regions into three groups so ye aapka ban gaya introduction theek hai now we move on ki reason kya hai so why did schmidt cover all of them together so you write down here that in terms of the physical conditions and climatic types Arctogean has much diversity. It broadly includes three types of climate. It includes the uh, subpolar and the polar regions. It includes the temperate, cool areas, and also the tropical, warm areas. And second, very important point is. that this arctogean is also a uh, presently discontinuous or discontiguous land stretches isn't it if you look at 
इफ लुक एट आक्टोजियन ये पूरा अलग ब्लॉक ऑफ लैंड है ये पूरा अलग ब्लॉक ऑफ लैंड है दिस इज अ सेपरेट ब्लॉक ऑफ लैंड ठीक है एंड यू हैव पुट देम टूगेदर सो व्हाट्स द रीजन व्हाई डिड ही पुट थ्री डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ रीजन्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ क्लाइमेट टूगेदर एंड वेरी इंटरेस्टिंगली दैट दे आल्सो आर ओके प्रेजेंटली डिसकंटिन्यूअस दे आर नॉट इवन कंटिन्यूअस रीजन्स व्हाट इज द रीजन रीजन टू फॉर दिस the main reason is but remember he is talking about animals the main reason is historically these three regions had been joined together joined together long enough for the animals to migrate and cross over into the other continents okay so although today they look so far apart okay oceans but they have been joined together either joined together by land or by some kind of climatic conditions and seas so even if it's a very large area with lot of distinct climatic types the fact is the life forms have moved across they have crossed over africa itna bhi alag nahi hai you can see animals crossing over through arabia crossing over through strait of gibraltar portions lot of similarity between africa and south asia there is similarity in north america and eurasia yes there were land bridges in fact between north america and eurasia there are more similarities than between north america and south america you look at the diversity because north america south america joined only recently the isthmus of panama but north america and eurasia they had linked across the bering strait i hope you are aware of these points the bering strait was a kind of a land bridge because of the ice age that area was like a land bridge and animals could cross over so if you look at uh, sheep uh, pigs or horses yes they crossed over from eurasia into north america as was originally north america did not have this uh, but south america africa had broken much earlier okay link to sab kuch tha but the point is in this what separate out it out first australia and south america separate out first whereas north america eurasia and africa were together in the tertiary times they were linked together in the pleistocene ice age times so south america and africa they separated during early and mid mesozoic times like okay. whereas north america and eurasia were linked together in the pleistocene times so that's very recent that explains why this continues to be considered or uh, schmidt considered that they, they they that they were all part of one type of diversity yeah to aapko wahi likhna hai okay so write this na the three regions had been joined together long enough for animals to migrate and cross over into the other continents fir samjhao talk about the bering land bridge talk about the similarity between north america and eurasia talk about the similarity between africa and south asia talk about similarity between southern europe and africa okay and do compare this with north america and south america okay joined recently australia uh, separated during the mesozoic and south america and africa separated during mid and early mesozoic yeah for this part here give examples so you can take up examples from your savindra singh environment geography agar hai aapke paas page number 169 in the old edition 
and 176 in the new edition. This, and just for the sake of information, okay, uh, knee arctic may unique conditions kya hai. It has rod rodents, turkey. Turkey is the unique bird of North America. Moose, prairie dogs. So know some names to write, okay? So four or five names, write them, write them, okay? And uh, uh, Pele Arctic, the unique ones will include amphibians are widespread and very few reptiles and mammals widespread. Ethiopian or the African may large mammals because of open grasslands. You have got large herbivores and large carnivores. Or you can extra sakte ho. If you look at Madagascar, Madagascar has near absence of carnivores. And it mainly has... This means primates are very important. Primates and apes. Madagascar may no primates except lemurs or Palearctic. And in all the three regions, there is similarity in most of the birds and fishes. Fishes may bohat common hai carp. Uh, catfish is a common variety. Ethiopia may again there is very less reptiles. Don't say no reptiles, say less. So I'll suggest you know this gives a lot of richness to your answer. <laughs>